what we're going to talk about next, and this will be the final segment here, is Tiger Woods. Now, if you don't know who Tiger Woods is, Tiger Woods is most likely, if he's not the greatest golfer in the history of the sport, he's definitely 1A. So he uh, he's done more for the sport than anybody else, that's for sure. He hasn't accomplished as much as one or two other golfers. But as far as as far as what he's done for a sport, no one I don't think anybody's done as much for his sport as he has, with the exception of maybe Michael Jordan. Um Yeah, I would say Michael Jordan. That's it. I think it's the only the only person that's ever done more for uh his sport than Tiger Woods. And even then, basketball was actually already a, a kind of a big thing. Golf has never been a huge thing. But Tiger Woods made it huge. So uh, Tiger Woods was in a car accident. Uh, I believe it was yesterday. Was it today or yesterday? Um, Trying to pull this up. I believe, yeah. It was probably, it might have been early this morning. I don't know. My days kind of blend together, especially since uh, COVID hit. But he was in a bad accident. Uh, He was apparently in surgery. He's recovering now, which is really good. It's just really it when I saw this story I'm like please do not be like Kobe. We do not need one of the greatest athletes of especially of my generation to uh to go out like this dying young in a freak accident. We cannot have that again. Not that's how we started 2020. We cannot start 2021 the same way. Especially, you know, Kobe and Tiger have a lot in common. They both did a lot for their sport. They're both champions. They're both all-time greats at their respective sports. Both great athletes. And they're both both of their both of them are very flawed human beings who have a redemption story to them. Uh, we all remember Kobe Kobe had a, a pretty serious allegation against him back in the 2000s. And and it was not good. <laughs> so I don't want to, you know. You know, there's a, you know, I don't want to get too much into that because remember it was, it, it, he was never convicted of anything. And I, I'm, you know, I try not to bring that up if I think someone, you know, is, you know, especially if someone hasn't been proven guilty of anything, I'm not going to say anything about like that. But he had some pretty serious allegations about him. And at the very least, he admitted to, to being a philanderer. So he, he did cheat on his wife. He admitted to that. And he had a rough go of it, but in his circumstance, he really didn't let it affect his game. It, he used he used the uh, the the basketball as kind of his outlet from that, and he eventually turned his life around, or you know, took that and w- there was a re- maybe not turn a life around is a wrong phrase, but he took that and he was able to turn his life into uh, there, there's a great redemption story basically where he had to live out the probably the biggest failure in his life in his personal life in the media when we're this was at the beginning when we're really getting into the whole 24-hour news cycle so and he has to live out his worst mistake in front of the entire world and he did develop a great uh, a great redemption story and a great redemption arc and he was able to retire um, as one of the greatest ever in basketball and really, really get past that early setback in his career as far from a, from a personal perspective. So I always admire that about Kobe, even though I freaking hated him as a player, but you have to, you, you have to, you know, give credit where credit is due. He's one of the great, he was one of the greatest ever. And when he finally retired, it was definitely time for him to retire. And again, he had totally redeemed himself after that that personal failure of his tiger woods is very similar um we didn't find out about his problems until he had already really was on his way to being the greatest of all time and when we found out about his his personal failings that did affect his game a lot i think remember we found out about his failings after he had just won a major title with a torn acl so Obviously, Tiger was doing great. And then we found out all these problems while he was recovering from ACL surgery. And, 
you know, his, apparently his wife had come after him with a, with a golf club and tried to take his head off. Um, he had come out and, and said, look, I, you know, I, I was, I was a piece of shit. <laughs> what do you want me to say? And you know, I'm sorry. So it's, and again, he had kind of developed over the last 10 years or so, because I believe that was back in 2009 when, he, when all that stuff came out about him. So yeah, over the last 10, 10, 12 years, he's really come out and really has, again, another, it's a redemption story. He, he had a lot of personal failings and he was able to, he was able to take those and actually, he seems to have become a better person. And all of that, while we still remember it, it's not what you really remember Tiger for. You remember how great he is as a golfer and how you you almost want to pull for him now because he's so close to having the all-time record for uh, for major titles that you're like pulling for him. It's like you're almost there. You, you would have done this if you hadn't had all these issues uh, in your career. I mean, you would have done this you know, five, six years ago. You would have completed this. So you kind of pull for him and it's really rough when you see him go through and you have an accident so apparently from what i can tell he's he's in la i guess doing a golf tournament or something like that uh i guess he did a photo shoot with uh with a couple of people and uh apparently it was just a uh a freak accident oh according to uh the daily wire um, the sheriff doesn't have any plans to charge him with anything. There's not going to be any criminal charges or s- civil charges. It looks like it was just a, a plain accident. I've talked to a couple people who live in the same area. Apparently, uh, if you're driving at any any higher speed than the speed limit on that road, you're an absolute idiot. But he also lives in Florida. He doesn't live in L.A., but he should know better because he's probably been in L.A. quite a bit, probably made that drive before. He sh- He should know better probably. But from what it sounds like, he's in, he's gotten out of surgery. He's responsive. He's good. So it's good that he's going to be okay. But now that we know he's okay, is he going to be, is his career done? Is he done golfing as far as from a competitive standpoint where he's somebody you should consider winning major titles or winning any tournaments at all? So that's going to be up to Tiger Woods. He obviously has a lot of recovery uh, to do after this. He's probably going to be out for a while based on what's going on. And, you know, you have an accident. That's that's going to stick with you for a little bit. So, but it's good to know that this year did not start with the another all-time great dying way too young. So, I'm glad Tiger Woods is going to be healthy. I hope he does. He is able to compete again in golf because it's it's a joy watching him play, even when he struggles. Because he's he is one of the all time greats. It it's kind of like for for me for professional wrestling. You know if uh, you know if if Hulk Hogan or Shawn Michaels or Bret Hart come out and they do a wrestling match, it's always it's a little nostalgia. It's very similar. If uh, like if Michael Jordan plays a plays a pickup game, that's always fun to see. Same thing here. If Tiger Woods is playing golf, I, I kind of want to watch it. So yeah, that's really about it for Tiger. I hope he's okay. I hope everything's good. But I hope that he is focusing on his on his well being over over golf.